Great Hugh. I think he's just brilliant. He's going to be here in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have to ask him about the circles he's running, and apparently he's been pals with Ivanka and Jared for the past 15 years. <laughs> All right. But that says, but say, he now says that when the three of them hang out, they never talk politics, which yeah. I think is a smart move. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. smart. So could, are you capable of doing that? Like, you know, in a dinner party, when Thanksgiving's coming up, it's going to be hell on wheels. That's I horrible. Know. <laughs> I mean, I implemented a rule last year. Uh, first, there was a safe room where if you wanted to talk... Uh, seriously, a safe room. Because <laughs> <room. laughs> of my mom, uh, if you want to talk politics, everybody goes into that room, room. So that it didn't disrupt everything else. And, and this year, I think I'm just going to say, uh-uh. Like, just no, no safe poli room for anybody. Yeah, yeah no politics. <laughs> All right, then the so just remove the cutlery we, from the table. Got, no yeah, sharp right, knives. No, no well, sharp have, objects. You know, half of my family voted for Trump and half didn't. And yeah, there's always this the thing. Safe room. Keep it. My family's you similar, think? too. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of families yeah. are, a lot of families have different po politics and religion are the two topics mm -hmm. that are so different. And my family has all of it. Yeah. Hugh Jackman is the most wonderful, he charming, he's so cute. talented person. I can't wait to have him on the show. But I also found that so refreshing. And maybe we could all learn from that. It takes a bigger person to say, you know what? Let's remove politics and say we can be friends before anything else. That's the way it used to be. I'll never forget at your dad's funeral, watching the presidents share mints together. And I was thinking if presidents can do it of different parties, if they can be friends and they can, yeah. you know, rise above politics, why can't all of we? Right. You, 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 you know, talk about politics. But, you know, something has changed. I, I, something has changed in the last two years. Um, well, I know what's changed in the last two years. Because it used to not be like that. It yeah. used to be that Democrats and Republicans could be friends. It used to be that Republicans who disagreed could be friends. That's become very difficult because under the Trump era, there's a litmus test. Mm. And, you know, I, I, like when, I, when I, we were talking about this topic, I thought to myself, well, before Trump, we used to talk about other stuff, right? right? I mean, we used oh. to talk about children and food and diets and clothes and sex and boys and sex. We still do here. <laughs> we still do a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But now, wow. but now it seems like every conversation, every road, because it feels so to... urgent. It feels so I urgent. I love it. I don't right? know what everybody's talking about. I talk politics all the time. <laughs> do you with do it friends. at home too? With yeah, friends? and some of my best friends are hardcore leftist liberals. I mean, Clay Aiken ran for mm -hmm. Congress as a Democrat. Mm -hmm. I could not live without him. Yeah. I love, I, I mean, honestly, like you ladies, yeah. sometimes I'm like, we only had eight segments or eight minutes to talk <laughs> about something. I want to continue yeah. to get your perspective afterwards. Let's that. go get lunch. I love talking about politics. It doesn't mean you have to rip each other's heads off, it just means you have to be mature and respectful. It's a Really, yeah. 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 these people know it's really a, it's all about Donald Trump. It's not about politics. It's not about it's all about him. Yeah. He he is destroying us, and we don't like it. I mean, but I lived through Nixon, and we came out of that in one mm. piece. Was it like that then? Were people pretty bad? Mm. Pre and uh, I was just reading today that if you had read his tapes, and if he had a Twitter account, you oh. would you would see something horrible, because he was an anti-Semite right out there. Well, Very bad boy Joy, he was. You had a family member that voted for Trump. and I do have that. So how do you handle that? Do you... <laughs> they don't, said, li they do. don't live in my state. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. So what about Thanksgiving with them? Well, during the Vietnam War, we used to have such gigantic fights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, my but country a, right or wrong, and we'd be like, your country's wrong. I don't know. It was a really... fight not joined is a fight not enjoyed. I love a healthy debate. I do it all debate, the time. Yes. As Abby knows, but I mean, fight. we double date with your husband. I've gone oh, out when with our guys, husbands like, got together. My husband's like a hardcore conservative. My husband just, admitted to voting like... for Hillary Clinton in front of her husband. Yes, it did not end thing. very well. Yes. <laughs> you know what? I was like, but again, Confess we love it. each other, yeah. and you. I just think that, like, I don't want politics to be extradited from conversations when you go out socially because it is so important, especially well, you, you for women. But you keep telling me yeah. your husband and wants to have dinner with you. He does, and we will. Okay. We I want to come too. Oh. Yes. I won't miss that. Yes. We Put all know that your husband. I will do it. I will do it. Real Housewives but, reunion. Uh, no. I will bring a food I would, taster. I <laughs> 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 kidding. Kidding. We'll be right back. We have to go.